Because so many of you are asking about how ensemble forecasting really works, I thought I'd put together this little Ensemble 101 forecast guide. Here's how it works. Ensemble forecasting is a method of forecasting that takes into account uncertainties and errors in the forecast models. These errors are a direct result of the chaotic nature of the atmospheric dynamics and basically our inability to completely capture the exact initial conditions with our surface and upper air charts. Here's a perfect example of surface chart. As you can see there from the surface map, we don't even come close to measuring the entire atmosphere. There are large areas between reporting stations where a lot of big features can take place and often do. So we have to interpolate between those stations and fill in the blank spots. This process immediately introduces errors to the forecast equations, errors that will be compounded over time as the model pushes deeper and deeper into the future. And if you think it's bad at the surface, Take a look at how bad it is aloft with the upper air charts. This is a look at the upper air map of the United States, and you can see there are huge areas between those observation locations. Plus, we're only taking observations two times a day. And since there's so much energy and dynamics that generate our weather that's located up there and not down at the surface, we introduce even more potential errors to the model forecast equations at this point. So when you boil it all down, because the model forecasts are only as good as the initial conditions, and as you've seen, those aren't very good, the initial conditions being loaded with errors, we assume that those errors will generate continued errors that grow in size and importance as the model progresses further and further into the future. So... What are we trying to do to alleviate that? Well, it's too expensive to put up weather balloons every hour at every city and every location. It's too expensive to have ground observing stations all over the place. We're doing pretty well with what we have. But what they've come up with now is this ensembling idea. Here's how it works. We actually take an ensemble model. We actually run multiple versions of the same model be it the GFS, the NAM, or whatever, and they're run over the same time period, but with the initial conditions having a controlled set of tweaks applied to them. That generates parallel versions of the same model with each offering a different solution, creates a range of solutions. Sometimes they're far apart, sometimes they're close together. kind of depends. The theory is that the greater the agreement within the ensembles, the more likely that the solution that they're trying to paint might be correct. Now there are various ways of viewing ensemble data. There's the spaghetti charts where you take a key line on the 500 millibar chart, let's say, a key height line, all the different variations and you plot them together and you see how far apart, how much spread there are in between those lines. There's the ensemble means, which is kind of like the average of all of them. And then there's what we call the postage stamp. That's a side-by-side -side comparison of each of the ensemble solutions. One of the best places to go to, to view and visualize these kind of charts that I found is the the PSU e weather wall. Let's take a look. Now this is the PSU website and in that website there's a ton of uh, weather information, weather charts, but this is their ensemble viewer for the GFS. Each one of the smaller boxes you see around there, those are the individual ensemble members. Then the big box in the middle, that's the ensemble mean forecast and that shows you just kind of the average overall of everything that's going around. The little green numbers, the green hours you see up towards the top, those are the hours increments uh, that the model is run for. And you can see it goes all the way out past 300. If you mouse over those, each one of the model ensemble members will change on the screen. It gives you a good overview of just how different different model solutions, even different members of the same model ensemble can be based on just some small tweaks in the initial conditions.